Hi guys, today it's JMAX Bowden Belt Extruder assembly video. If you want to know more about that extruder, the presentation video is on a link right below. I apologize for the sound quality, actually I've got two printers by my side, mostly printing night and day. But let's get started. To complete this extruder, you will need all these parts and a set of the printed parts. The printed parts are just out of the print bed, so we need to do a little cleaning about it. So deburr the parts, remove all you think it's necessary, especially the support. So here we have some support too. You need you want to remove the first layer there. Sometimes it takes a little bit more, but uh, you know just the first layer allows uh, remove of the idler. So let's drill inside and the other side then hello a little less of fire inside both sides. And then can do a little snap inside but just a little because these, these little recess inside are needed to hold the bearing the six to three bearing okay in place. so now the part has deburred and we start with the idler so take your 20 millimeter screw drive it in this way here the six to three bearing in push the screw through the bearing just use one nut yep. and let's drive it in it's okay the bearing must run free so that's good now the 25 millimeter screw to get the idler in the part, not the notch is this way. So let's insert the screw and you got a recess for the nut. Push the nut in a bit and then tie it up. Okay. It's a uh, it's a bit overscrewed, so I release it a bit to allow the idler to move freely. So now we need to insert the nuts into our parts. So first take a M5 screw, any kind, into the large pulley then drive the nut inside hold the nut with a pair of pliers yeah. 
like so and drive the screw slowly it will drive the nut inside when it's flush it's okay now we need to do the same with the crank so insert your screw drive your nut on the screw hold it with a pair of pliers and just drive slowly the nut into the part like so once again when it's flush when it's flush it's okay now the lock so springs in the 40 millimeters screws open the idler pass the first screw into the that, that hole push that screw into the upper hole drive your nut in then hold it in place with a pair of pliers and drive gently the screw in like so now the second one so start your screw by end then hold the nut in place with the pair of pliers and drive gently the screw in like so so for my springs I just have to pass a bit over the nut but uh, if you got uh, longer springs or so you can adjust the length as required now the crank assembly is very quick you need to pass your m3 screw through the pulley the m3 30 millimeters then insert the crank uh, no don't forget your little m3 washer i like the nylon ones because uh, it lies better and then just gently screw your crank in it's a bit loose i tied it up a bit but keep in mind uh, it's too much now keep in mind the crank needs to run freely so no play but the crank runs now it's okay we can pass through the m5 assembly this side up a 105 bearing a grover washer over our f5 40 millimeter screw <coughs> the mk7 the large part downside like so and you pass it through the hole here like so and drive your screw in then backwards upside down another m105 bearing another grover washer another m5 washer any kind this last washer prevents the grover washer to dig into our pulley the printed one and then we drive the pulley to hold all this in place and holding the pulley with one hand i drive it it in slowly until the two rubber washers 
lays flat. It's a bit tight. You don't want it to be too tight because uh, it will uh, it will force onto your motor. Now it runs freely. That's okay. And before to tie the MK7, we will drive in the pneu fit uh, to help you into this process. You can notch uh, a little, um, you can uh, dry, uh, make a little notch with a file gently both sides. It will make the thread act like a tap. Drive it slowly by hand, then Hello, few turns, but don't over tight that screw when it starts to be hard to turn. It's time to stop. Remember, any screw into plastic, never, never, never over tight it, or you will break it as quick as it's possible to say. Now. Uh, it's okay, we just have to add in and hold our pulley, have a, have a gear in place, like so. I pass a piece of filament inside and now I'm sure the gear is aligned. And then with a little Allen key, I lock the M5, MK7 gear in place, hold it tight, but don't break the screw. And now, as you can see, even without the Hitler, the filament is driven. So it's okay. We can close it and work with our NEMA 17 motor. Take care of the orientation of the wires. I want the wires on the back side, so I do like so. And we insert our little M8 screws. Uh, it's M3, 8 meters. And now we need to insert our pulley. Don't, um, you must take care that the flat side uh, is aligned with one screw. Then you tighten it, but don't over tight it because we need to set it up with the belt. So we insert, we put the crank this way, you insert the pulley this way and pass the belt over the large pulley and now you can tighten it but we need to be sure the belt is properly aligned. We have the large pulley. It's okay right now, so now I can tighten the aluminium pulley system tooth as much as I can, like so. Now we can tighten the belt. You really want to the belt to be hard to the touch. We tight the 
radial screws and then the axis to lock it in place and now as you can see the belt is tighten and the you just have to connect the motor to operate the extruder but we will do a little bit of test testing here we just insert a piece of filament just drive it here and as you can see it flows directly out the extruder as you can see the crank allows you to drive the filament very quickly so another time just put the filament here yeah. as you can see it flows the other way very quick and I drive my 50 meter, uh, millimeter, uh, centimeters of filament very 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 quick so you can drive a filament without opening it you just need to open when you want to clean up the MK7 gear so here is the, that extruder uh, I hope this will be interesting for you if you want to use it you can do download it uh, I, I think yes. Um, I wish you the best with, with this extruder if you choose to use it. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.